Right, I tell you, here it is, the Mac Studio, and oh my god, something is just blowing me away. I don't know what's going on, but uh, we're going to talk about it here. We're going to do some Blender tests. We're going to compare this to an RTX 3090 and a 12900K Intel i9. First thing is, always test USBs on Macs. And by the way, thank god for this thing. I'll leave a link in the description where you can buy it. This SSD helped me out so much being able to transfer all the files for testing. And by the way, anything you want tested, leave a comment down there in the description or we'll do an unboxing or we'll do gaming videos etc but make sure you leave it down there in the comments so we do have a watt meter there hopefully you can see it but if you can't see it i'll read how much wattage we're using but getting back to that transfer and all the files for testing on this it was like over a terabyte and this thing done it super fast but it's not running at full speed i will show you so indeed this is the crucial x8 external ssd and you can see there write speeds near enough 800 there and i checked all the thunderbolts are discrete so all six thunderbolts are discrete but the read times 860 so that's nearly 200 short of what it is on a pc so i've tested this on a pc it's 200 megabytes per second faster for the read so we're not getting full speed through these usbs it's a problem with all the m1s so yeah that is what it is but still it was still super fast using this compared to you know trying to get it off my nas over wi-fi but these do have 10 gig networking now let's have a look at the speed of the ssd this is the one terabyte model and you can see there that you're not getting the full speeds that apple advertised you need the four gigabyte model to get the full speeds the 7000 or whatever it is so that is what it is now let's get into blender and oh my god this is crazy so first i'll tell you what model i have i have this one here the pre-configured model because the other one's on the way so anyway 48 core gpu 20 core cpu but i do here have times for the 64 core model with 128 gigs RAM, the m1 ultra here so we'll compare this one now to these times here so now let me show you something that is crazy so i'll go to preferences here and what you can see here doesn't make a difference if i tick both or one well let's tick one so it says here apple m1 ultra gpu now keep an eye on the watt meter okay so let's just render this image and keep an eye on that and you can see there 70 watts around 70 watts we're using okay you can see the gpu is working up there and we're only using 70 watts and i'll show you when i tick both of them in a minute so it's saying here remaining 23 seconds i won't make you go through this i'll show you how fast it is at the end but the important thing is only using just over 70 watts okay this is finished now and it says 37 seconds 37.4 okay so if we have a look at these times here the 128 gig 64 core gpu model does it in 34 seconds so 34 seconds versus 37 for three seconds are you going to pay all the extra to get the you know the 64 core gpu and 128 gigs ram i don't think so and of course here the rtx is just killing it here we'll get onto the cpu in a sec so if i go into preferences here i'm going to enable both and we'll go back and keep an eye on the watt meter we'll render this image again render image and what you can see there is wolf 90 watts it's going to go over 100 105 watts 108 watts 101 watts 120 watts so there double the amount of power up to 130 watts there you go 130 128 124 watts double the amount of power but is it faster <laughs> well i don't know we'll find out oh, we've got three seconds left and exactly the same time it's 37.73 but using double the amount of power so again this 48 core gpu model is 37 seconds versus 34 on the 64 core model so not much difference i wouldn't be spending money on that to upgrade that and the rtx 3090 wolf oh, 11 seconds that's just killing it here now let's see for cpu it should be exactly the same because the cpus are the same okay let's do the cpu test and this is indeed blender 3.1 the latest version and i had to actually force quit it so yeah we'll see what happens here this is cpu now so if we just quickly have a look here the cpu scores 12900k 1 minute 25 it should be the same as the other ultra the maxed out ultra it shouldn't be any different there but let's do it and as you'll see the cpu bars will go up but we'll see how much watts it uses and the gpu should not light up there so let's just render this and we're using whoa we're using 90 watts 87 watts man this is like a 12900 what's going on? <laughs> that's a lot of watts how come it's using so many watts 
That's just CPU as well. Yeah, I don't think it's as power efficient as Apple are making out there. We're using like, this is from the wall there, but that is definitely 88 watts. So it is two banks of the CPU, I guess. Okay, I'm not gonna make you sit through the whole render, of course, and we're doing 88 watts. So I saw up to 90 watts, given that, you know, the fan and all that needs sort of power. You're looking at probably about 40 watts for each bank of CPU. So both of the CPUs together. So, you know, having the 20 cores, you're gonna use about 40 watts each. So 80 watts, I would say, or maybe even less. It depends how much the system uses. We don't know how much it uses. I'll check the idle in a minute. But anyway, here we go. How long did it take? One minute 50. So the maxed out version, and it's probably the RAM, is 1 minute 43. Okay, so the maxed out version, that's with 128 gigs RAM, and the, you know, the high-end GPU, the 64-core GPU, is actually faster. It's 7 seconds faster. So I'll run that again just to test it, make sure, you know, nothing's going on here. But yeah, there you go. Stay tuned for more. Stay tuned for gaming. Stay tuned for everything. Let me know down in the comments what you want me to test. And yeah, I like it so fast. But anyway, I'll catch you in the next one. Telly ho.